There really is just something special about stumbling upon a super rare, different colored version of your favorite Pokemon. It almost feels as if they came to you for a reason, and it can create a really unique and memorable moment. As for me, I've probably spent thousands of hours in recent years searching for these exact moments, and I've amassed a pretty big collection of shiny Pokemon and crazy stories, and I think it's time I share that with you. Do you guys know the secret of this specific snow runt in the Alabaster Icelands? If you said there is no secret, then you'd be right. This is just about as normal as a snow runt gets in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Ice type, always looks really cold, and the classic 1 in 4096 shiny odds for those venturing into the area for the first time. But for me, this snow runt is special. This little dude is the star of one of the craziest memories I have with a Pokemon game. and. This is how that story goes. It was my first playthrough of Legends Arceus, and after finally reaching the final area of the map, the Alabaster Icelands, I could barely contain my excitement. Why was I so excited to reach a frozen wasteland that kind of looks like Jabu Jabu's belly? Uh, well, I knew that I would finally be able to add my favorite Pokemon to my team, Frostlass. And to my pleasant surprise, the first spawn you see as you enter the snowy mountains for the first time is this tiny little orange cone freezing its buns off. I love Snowrunt, and I absolutely wanted to shiny hunt it in the future in hopes of landing myself a shiny female. A very daunting task, as those of you who have hunted specific gendered shinies might know. But as I passed the first Snowrunt and gazed into this cavern below, I saw something that looked a little strange. And I really gotta give props to the old me for saving this recording before I even knew I was gonna upload YouTube videos. But this was the first ever full odds shiny encounter I had in this game. This Snowrunt is the second Snowrunt you encounter in the entire game. This was the first time I had come to this area, and it was shiny. And not only that, it was a freaking female. I got a shiny Frostless on my first playthrough within 10 steps of entering the Iceland area. It's moments like these that make me want to keep shiny hunting and have boxes filled with them. It's just insanely fun and creates so many cool memories. And wait a second, it's been three minutes and I've only talked about a snow runt? We gotta pick up the pace, let's play some music. Okay, now before we get to some of my biggest and best shiny Pokemon, let's start here in Legends Arceus, where if you spend even a few hours doing some mass outbreaks, you're bound to find a shiny or two. It's uh, really not that hard, and uh, I've probably spent more than a few hours shiny hunting in this game, but um, what I really like about Legends Arceus is not the regular shiny Pokemon, but the introduction of shiny alpha Pokemon, a bigger, rarer, red-eyed version of nearly every Pokemon. These still manage to give me that authentic shiny freakout feeling every single time, even after completing the game and getting the shiny charm. So why not start with my box filled with only alpha shiny Pokemon. And the first one I ever caught, of course, is my favorite Pokemon, Frostless. And let's talk about this shiny. Okay, come on, cut, cut me some slack. I know nothing really changes, but let's be honest, the shiny robe looks better than the regular. Come on, it fits, it's better, you know it's better. Come on, please, please. And now, can, can you hate this shiny Pokemon? Does anyone exist that does not like this shiny? The shiny female Heracross with the heart on the horn. It's just impossible. How could you not like this? And another absolute banger of a shiny is the shiny Spiritomb, and this is my alpha that I got from an outbreak. I do miss the old way of shiny hunting where you'd fly over and it was like a one in 50 bajillion chance or something. That was fun, but getting this big blue spinning thing was one of my biggest goals in the game. Some of my other favorite shiny alphas include Big Red Washing Machine, Scary Blue Bat, Blue Frog with the Cute Nails, Wannabe Frostlass, and Gibby from Apex Legends. Oh yeah, and my first ever duplicate shiny alpha was a shiny Licky Licky, and this, it, it would not be my first choice, um, but I'm happy nonetheless. But to finish off my alphas, we've got Slenderman Sneasler, the Golden Sniffer, my beautiful pink bat, shout out Crobat fans, Spoon Man, and my two Gardevoirs. Every one of these shiny alphas has a different memory and story attached to it, and it's probably on my YouTube channel, so if you're not caught up, go check out my stuff. 
I'm gonna tally up all my Legends Arceus shinies for the end, but for now, let's take a journey over to Generation 8. It's no secret that I'm a sucker for the smiling shiny Pokemon of Sword and Shield, and this game makes it a little bit harder than the likes of Legends Arceus to stack up your collection of shiny Pokemon. But with things like Dynamax Adventures and the Masuda Method egg hatching, it really isn't too bad. And with this game, I started shiny hunting as soon as I could, all the way back in 2019. And this is probably my first game that I really, really dove into shiny hunting. Although I did have some shiny hunts in older games that we'll get to later. But for now, let's check out some of my favorite Sword and Shield shinies. This is my shiny Tapu Lele. I made an entire video about my hunt for her, and she's definitely one of my favorite shiny Pokemon of all time. However, for some reason when I asked you guys to pick the best shiny Tapu, only 12% of you guys agreed with me? Hello? Us Tapu Lele and Bulu fans are just left in the dust, I guess? Um, aren't you the guy that thinks Frostless has a good shiny? I- Alright, fair enough. One of my first and favorite new shiny Pokemon from Gen 8 is Alchemy, and I love the customization you can do on this Pokemon just normally, in addition to all the different shiny forms you can have. Oh yeah, and she's also really good in competitive Pokemon too, and what is this snoring who- Sylveon. Actually, this is perfect timing, because we need to talk about the great debate of Sylveon versus Umbreon. Two of the most popular evolutions, both of them shiny. But who would win in a battle for the best shiny evolution of all time? I took to you all, the community, to find out. And with nearly 200,000 votes, we had an answer that we knew we could trust. Personally, I love them both. But I'm Team Sylveon, picking her to take home the W and show everyone that newer Pokemon can win. Oh, Sylveon lost. Well, that makes sense, actually. Umbreon is pretty cool. Maybe maybe next year, Sylveon. This is my golden Magikarp named Drip that is a shiny. I have no recollection of where or when I got him, uh, but he's here and he is struggling to breathe. And this is my shiny Serena. She's battle ready, great colors, amazing purple, can step on me, um, is really strong. Wait, I just realized I hatched, I guess, both my shiny Eevees that I evolved into Umbreon and Sylveon and my Sableye on the same day. This Snapchat is the only remaining memory of me hatching this Sableye back in 2020. And as you can see, I was very excited. Oh, yep, here, here are the Eevees. So I guess I was just saving all Snapchats instead of saving it on my Switch. I wonder if I knew how lucky I actually was. Actually, you know what? I might just become a Snapchat-only YouTuber. I'm just gonna record all my shinies in like potato quality on Snapchat, and instead of commentating, I'm just gonna put a caption. Hmm, yeah, that could probably work. I'll save that for a future date. Let's uh, let's go look at shiny legendaries. Wait, but what about the other games? What about the old games that you shiny hunted in? Aren't you gonna show them? Well, I was going to, but it's there's not that many and it, it's on my 3DS. So what? Just record it and upload it, just like normal. I don't have a capture card and I'd, I'd have to take a picture with my phone and I just made a joke about recording with my phone. They're gonna think I'm dumb. You are dumb though. Wait, you're right. Yeah, I had three pink shiny Pokemon. I was going for some sort of theme. Uh, I'm not really sure why I didn't level them or evolve them. If I'm being honest, I didn't really know what I was doing back then, especially in Pokemon Pearl when I found my first shiny Pokemon, a shiny Staravia, which I caught and then proceeded to trade away for a Palkia because, and I quote, Palkia is cooler. Um, that one's a rough memory that's gonna take a long time to forget. Anyway, let's go check out all my shiny legendaries that I've found in Brilliant Diamond, including all my Forgotten Master Ball series, Pokemon, and more. Twenty twenty two has probably been my best year of shiny hunting ever, and it's mostly all thanks to this game right here, Brilliant Diamond. It's not the prettiest or most fun remake in the world, and Man, do the loading times really take way longer than they should. But still, it led me to a ton of moments with shiny Pokemon that I'll never forget. At first, I started as I do in every game, shiny hunting for a female Snorunt. And unlike in Legends Arceus, my shiny Frostless in this game was one of the longest and unluckiest shiny hunts I'd ever had. 
I ended up catching more shiny Sneezlers and Snovers in the snowy grass than I could ever want, all without a single sighting of a blue snow runt. So when I decided to move to Masuda Method egg hatching, I thought things would get a little easier. Um, I was wrong. It took me nearly 2,000 eggs to hatch this little stinker. But thank goodness, it was a female. After that, well, this could be some of the rarest footage you've ever laid eyes on. But this clip does in fact show myself with a single legally obtained Master Ball. The good old days before Latias stole it away from me. And this Latias was actually my first real soft reset hunt, and it's what inspired me to hunt for all the future event legendaries in BDSP that you might have seen in my Forgot a Master Ball series. I got every single shiny mythical and legendary Pokemon under rate, except for my biggest hunt, which was Arceus. That one took me around 5,000 soft resets and was one of the longer cutscenes that came with an event legendary. With Scarlet and Violet inching closer and closer, I'm getting really excited to shiny hunt every legendary I can in that game too. And don't worry, I will not be bringing my Master Ball. Do I have any more games that I could show shinies and stuff? Let's see. Dang, I forgot about a lot of these games. Wait a second. <sighs> Sorry about that. Reverted back to a much different part of my life right there. But yeah, guess that's everything.